Welcome to Celebrity Cars, ladies and gentlemen. We're located in Las Vegas, halfway between Henderson, Nevada and Summerlin, Nevada, right off the strip at 7770 Dean Martin Drive. Well, when's the last time you've seen one of these? Unless it's in your garage, unless you owned one a million years ago, then you've seen one. But quite frankly, we've never seen one with this particular wheel package. Uh, lots of extra chrome up front, uh, the Landau top in the back, and it's a two-door, man. It's a two-door. It's absolutely beautiful. 1983 Buick Electra Limited. Got the, uh, the blue velour interior, which is in fabulous shape. The carpet's in awesome shape. The chrome is in really good shape. The paint is in really good shape. The chrome down the sides of the car are in really good shape. It's just kind of a shocker because you're not going to find another one of these any, anywhere. Uh, we've looked. We tried to find comparables. We don't know if we should price this car $100,000 or 50 or, you know, la, 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 la. Okay, look, this is a super rare car. If you're a big 80s person, uh, you know, my grandparents owned something like this. So uh, this is just a, a fabulous ride. Well, listen, welcome to Celebrity Cars. We're located in Las Vegas. I'm your living, breathing condition report. Okay, uh, so what that means is maybe you live over in the East Coast, maybe you live in another country, you don't want to get on a plane these days, you want to stay on the couch, you need somebody to look something over. Uh, I'm going to do my very best to show you the condition of just about everything, okay? We're even going to put it up on a lift. We're going to go for a drive down the road. We're going to play with the air conditioning and make sure that works. We're going to make sure the headlights work. I'm going to show you where little nicks and scratches are. Um, if it's got any rust on it, I'm going to share that with you too. So far, so good. I don't see any rust. This is just an amazing find. Uh, I can't remember the actual miles on it, but it's in the 30,000s. Okay, so only 30,000 and change original, just under 40,000 original miles on this car. We're going to look at the engine compartment. We're going to look in the, tr it's just, it's, this is just sick. It's just awesome. Okay, well, look. look so I'm going to start at the nose. I normally start at the nose. I start at the front bumper. We go over all the chrome pieces. We make sure that everything's still here. None of it's cracked. Um, I remember some of these Buick. Uh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. See that? They bend forward just in case you get a little bumper, uh, uh, a little uh, fender bender. They, they bend forward so they don't break. Uh, I haven't done that in a very long time. Now, listen, right before filming, uh, we found some wax. Oddly enough, but this bumper here uh, is uh, very detailed. You can see a little left over the wax. We're going to clean this up for you. Just so you know, this is all going to be really pretty black. Um, the bumpers are going to get shined up, all that kind of stuff. We just got this car in. Uh, we can't say enough good things about it, but every time we turn around, we find something that somebody missed back in the day. We'll, we'll, we'll look and have more fun with this when we look at the back bumper because we didn't realize it was back there too. But at some point, way back in the day, somebody took all their heavy wax and they're waxing this sucker up and they got the wax on these uh, vinyl bumpers. And when they got the wax on the vinyl bumpers, they're like, oh crap, I wasn't supposed to do that. So they got all the wax off of this stuff. I don't know how they did that. But down here, if you see right underneath, is this little strip. It's very difficult to get to and the only good thing to use is your fingernail and it gets all the wax. There was like white stripes all the way across. I thought these bumpers were falling apart. Good news, folks, these bumpers are in wonderful shape. The chrome is in incredible shape. The glass down here for your blinkers are terrific. The bezels for the headlights is just about mirror. Uh, it, it, super minor scratches, if any. This entire grill is in beautiful shape. Uh, you know, maybe you want to grab one of those microfiber towels, get a couple of these little water marks off of here. This would shine up even more than it does currently. There's barely any pitting. It's just, it's, it's very exciting to talk about. 1983 vehicles really aren't supposed to exist today. They're, they, they, you know, they're a bunch of unprotected metal and they all fell apart. This one's still standing here for some reason. It's just crazy. Now look, come over, please come over my left shoulder. I want to get this out of the way because I don't want to spend a bunch of time beating the crap out of this paint. We have very fancy lights in here in celebrity cars in the showroom, and they're like magnifying glasses in the right um, in the right focus. So you see, we have some watermarks, we have some small abrasions from towels. Maybe somebody put a newspaper on here at one point back in the day. I do not know if this is original paint or not, but you know what? I certainly wouldn't argue the point. Over here, there's a chip. This is about as bad as the chips get. 
It's right smack in the middle of the hood. It has some very old uh, touch-up paint in it. You see a little abrasion to the left. This needs a good cut, polish, and this car would glare at you like none other. I mean, it, it's uh, it, these, this uh, white would sometimes change from this white. Very, very, very uh, same white, and there's no discoloration going on. And, you know, the chrome piece up the middle of the car looks terrific. The Buick emblem up front, um, you know, that's this, it's just a, an ama amazing shape. You know, you look over here, over my left shoulder again, you see a couple more of these abrasions. If you listen closely, you can see here and, hear and uh, feel that, you know, some clay bar needs to be done and some extra polishing. So there's plenty of paint left on this car. It just needs a really good super shine, okay? That's gonna be your job, all right? Where, you know, if you wanna call us and a couple extra dollars, we get it shined up for you, that's just fine. But uh, we'll leave this for you and all those uh, items in your garage that you've been storing up. This is because this is just be, I, I, if I wish I had time, I'd do it myself. Come on over here. Let's start to work our way down the driver's side of the car. Um, these are coming, some of these little instances that, you know, the imperfections in the car, um, you know, uh, something driving down the road caught this, gave it a little chunk. Somebody put some touch up paint in there. A very, very small um, indentation, if any. I hope you get it good on film there so you can see it. It's really not bad at all. It was tastefully covered up, and like I said, it's, it's, it's not all perfect. Um, let's work our way down the driver's side of the car. These chrome moldings down both sides of the car are, are fabulous. I'm thinking that I'm going to probably spend more time uh, on camera uh, describing these lower valances once it's up on the lift, um, because we're gonna put this up on the lift in the next day or so, and I'm gonna get a good video and photographs of the undercarriage of the car, because man, I'm dying to see it myself. And that way we can get a better look at these chrome pieces all the way around. But so far, so good, folks. I mean, these aren't dented up. They're all nice and straight. There's a couple really small uh, paint chips that were here that somebody took their touch-up paint, again, way back in the day and did this. Uh, this isn't anything that anyone did recently. And see that? That's, that's gone. <laughs> okay, check out the wheel and tire. Let's talk about this for just a moment. When's the last time you saw a wheel and tire, a wheel look like this on a Buick? You haven't, because they're just, they're gone. They're gone. I mean, you're very lucky to have these wheels on your vehicles in your collection, but the, these just uh, particular wheels are, are just goners. And they're, they're so cool. Um, uh, I had an 80 Buick Regal Turbo, believe it or not, that my grandfather owned. I had almost these identical sport uh, Buick wheels. I can't remember exactly what they're called, but they're just so sharp and all four of them folks are like in brand new condition. It's crazy. Okay, I'm going to take a quick sweep down the driver's side of the car. Um, once again, I'm not going to beat this to get if, if you follow my finger, got a little bitty chip there, a little bitty chip there, a little bitty sucker there. Now we're going to back the camera up from the car and you're going to see how mild they are and how barely you can see them. Um, you know, uh, there's one right there. There's one right here. We want to go find the old guy that chipped up the old ones and get that paint and put them on these. You probably barely even see that they're there. Uh, all the way down the side, there's a couple of the, these dark marks that you do see, folks, on the camera. Um, yeah, they're not bugs, unfortunately. These are little itty bitty chips. They're clean chips, if you will. Um, you know, they are very repairable with some uh, very delicate touch up paint. Um, there's not a plethora of them, there's not a dent. Also, there's not a big scrape also. It's just a couple little normal road wear paint chips. That's it. A couple more down along the side here. Uh, very small, unfortunately very dark. You could see them clear as day. But up here, beautiful white paint. This chrome molding around here, again, uh, you know, not banged up. It's in beautiful shape. Here's your wheel and tire. Of course, there's no curb rash. Take a lot of talent to get uh, curb rash on these with all this tire buffering it. These pinstripes down both sides, the chrome pinstripes with the, uh, with the vinyl molding in the middle of it are beautiful from front to back on both sides. Uh, well, you know, here we go. Here we go again. Little itty bitty sucker. This one's from old school. It's got a little touch up paint on it and a little itty bitty sucker. Now, um, if, if I will throw something in here, this is uh, once again, you'd find somebody with some touch up paint very carefully very cleanly and professionally have those uh, and uh, touched up. And you put some clear coat on it 
And then you get your fancy detailer with a wheel. And, mm, man, they almost go away on paint like this and cars like this. Quick way of doing it, but it's a hell of a lot better than painting the whole car. Okay, now let's look at the trunk surface. This is identical to the hood. Got a couple little water marks. Uh, got a couple little abrasions from either, uh, you know, the, the bathroom towel drying this off, which you shouldn't do, but we all did back in, in the 80s. We didn't know that, uh, you know, that our towels were, were banging up our paint so bad. Uh, I used mom's kitchen towels. She got mad at me all the time. Um, but uh, anyway, uh, water marks, light water marks. Hear that? That's the stuff we want to go away. We just haven't had a chance to do it yet. And then you could cut down and get all these light water marks. But see how many chips there are? See how many scrapes there are? There aren't any. It's beautiful. Just the little stuff that I pointed out on the side, which I'm probably gonna point out on the passenger side, just normal road wear. All right, let's look at the back bumper before we go any further. Okay, now this is the fun stuff. Come on down here with me. I'm gonna sit down here on the ground because this is what the front bumper looked like. See this? I thought the black bumper was coming apart. Uh, I thought, uh, you know, it was, uh, there was a, a pinstriping in there that was coming. No, 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 this is, this is wax in here. Isn't that funny? I get my fingernail on the right angle and this wax starts to come off. So I'll have fun doing that later on, okay? I'm not gonna show you all that now, but I got a kick out of it because I think this wax has been in here since you know, 1987 when somebody screwed up. It's just funny, it's all the way down. Anyway, a I, I, little humor in our video. Look at these back real tail light lenses. Aren't they just absolutely beautiful? They look almost brand new, folks. The chrome around it, just it's, cra it's crazy. This is, this is crazy. The condition of this is just crazy. It's wonderful. Down in here needs to be shined up with some extra paint and polish in here in this piece, but there's nothing all nice and solid. Nothing's falling apart. The chrome finish up here um, is not perfect but it's also not bad at all. The camera's not lying to you, folks. It's just a couple little abrasions and some chrome polish. Probably hook all this up. We're gonna get the wax out of here for you. We're gonna shine up this lower part of uh, the bumper down here. But once again, I'm really keen on getting this up on a lift and we look at this together and uh, see how nice it is underneath, okay? License plate area is really nice. It's all good shape. Okay, let's work our way up past the passenger side. All right. Got a little more of that wax going on. These all four corners, um, no, you know, hitting the garage, no banging into the car next to you. There's no scrapes, there's, there's no pools, there's no surprises over here. Everything lines up wonderfully. You get this beautiful chrome again, small chip in the paint right there. We're gonna hit, do that game again all the way down the side probably, but so far, look at this, nothing. Beautiful white paint. Oh, small chip. Couple small normal road wear chips beautiful wheel and tire once again chrome molding all the way around beautiful no scrapes no car doors no garage walls pinstriping down the side looks great okay i see a small ding see that dent pro your dent guy call him up he'll get that out for you small chip small chip small 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 super small nice 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 Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful stuff. Now, <clears throat> the pinstriping going down the side of the car, um, there is a, my hands are getting dirty, sorry. Um, all this is wonderful until you get to about here, there's a, a little bit of deterioration. It's not major. I'm wondering um, if a good detailer could probably figure out how to get this shined up a little better. But anyway there's a little bit of decay not a lot it's nothing to scream about um it's all there all the bits and pieces are there these electric emblems on on both sides of the car electro emblems are are wonderful as well beautiful paint folks beautiful wheel and tire look at these uh side mirrors look at that chrome got some really tasteful window tint the glass is in good shape the chrome around the doors are wonderful listen to this Just like it's no, you know, open up the doors like these are supposed to make noises. Nothing. Awesome is that. Great tint. Let's take a look at this top. We haven't done this. I got nothing to say about this top. You know why? Were you around in 1983? Are you old enough to remember this stuff? This is exactly the way it should be. This is the way it was when mom brought it home and I 
cleaned it for when they had cars like this. It's beautiful. There's no bubbling in it. It's just in wonderful shape. There's it's not peeling away like it's been around for how many years? The rear windshield is great. Nothing. It's it's kind of sort of I, I, I almost got to throw the word out. It's perfect. Nothing. It's nothing. It feels good. You can feel the moisture in it. The chrome molding that goes from one side of the car to the other is absolutely outstanding. And I haven't spent a ton of time on this rooftop. Hold on. Yeah. So we'd have to tackle this with the clay bar cut down and 90 percent of all these little itty bitty suckers will be goners and this will just gleam so oh did we talk about the windshield yet we didn't windshields in terrific shape there's a couple uh i did i did notice um you know from the uh windshield wipers these windshield wipers when uh when the rubber would start to take a crap, uh, we would be lazy and not replace them in time. And it would start to cut into the windshield a little bit. So you do see a little bit of that uh, a remainder left a little bit of scratching. When you come back over here, we'll get a little bit of that VIN number on tape. Actually, let's just swap sides. And in doing so, look through the windshield, please. And you see the top of the dashboard. Now. Uh, you know, my cars have a, a you know, a, a plastic dashboard. Uh, some of the fancy new Mercedes and Bentley and stuff, they have like a leather wrap dashboard and it's beautiful stuff. This is like a velour. It's the same material as used pretty much on the seats. And this is supposed to be all crapped up. I mean, it's just what happens, man. Um, it's deteriorated, looks awful. It's not. I mean, it could probably look a little better, but look how it's all intact. These plastic pieces for the speakers and the air vents are all together. It's remarkable. You, you're not going to find anything else like this at all. Is that a crack right there? What is that? Oh, no, it's just a stick. Okay. I'm going to open up the passenger side door. I'm going to come over there and open up the driver's side door, get a little light into the interior because I think we're pretty much done doing the exterior of the car. Let's get a couple, if you don't mind, doing a span down the inside of this door jam. I have not cleaned these folks. Um, so, um, oh, and I do want to share down here and the bottom of the door. All the way down, here we go. See this corner down here and underneath? Okay, it's just a little discoloration, folks, of, of you know, a little bit of mild surface rust appearing. This shouldn't be a surprise to anyone. And it's way uh, in, in uh, uh, it is certainly repairable before it gets worse. I'll word it that way, okay? Um, there's no bubbling down here. This is just as if somebody forgot to clean it and it got a little crudded up and there's just some surface stuff going on. So please don't be afraid. It's all very solid down here. Nothing's falling apart. Um, you know, nothing to worry about. Okay. Look at this. Holy crap. The plastic wood down the sides of the doors, around all the, the, uh, the window mechanisms, the door handle to get in and out of the car on the door is just, I mean, the carpet, it's not cracked, it's not faded. I mean, come on. I, I will pull on this. See, uh, you know, it's all still intact. This is in amazing shape. The controls, I mean, it's just nuts. It's nuts. The car's awesome. Okay, let's look inside the door cells here. All this stuff is pretty important to me. I would think it would be you too. All the, you know, somebody could have a seat reupholstered, but to redo any of this kind of stuff is, is uh, not something anyone wants to do. All of this looks grand. Got a, got a couple little water sparts. Here, I'm just using my finger right now, even though it's very dirty. Look how much this, uh, chrome shines up right inside the door. I mean, these watermarks come off and everything. So you see how there's a long way to go here to make this uh, uh, very, make you very proud to take this to the car show and have everybody go, what, what? how did you find one of these? Okay. Uh, getting in the seat, uh, nothing rattled extra. Um, how do I explain this? Older seats, they come out, they get put back in. They're not connected back up perfectly. I mean, this this is just, this is the bomb. It works 
It works perfect. I don't know if this is a power seat or not. I don't know how you make it move, but I think it is a power seat. And you, oh, and you do it. And it works. Tilt. <laughs> how is this possible? The carpet is beautiful. The dashboard, I haven't even looked at this yet. You come on in, and I'm gonna put this uh, middle sucker up and you can kind of sort of come in here with me. I'll move over in the middle. This is exciting. Steering wheel. Uh, I can see some of that, uh, the, the chrome little stripe sucker that goes around. This isn't wax. <laughs> uh, this is just a, a piece of it, you know, it, the, the, uh, the shiny stuff is working its way off. But other than that, the steering wheel uh, feels as good as new. Steering column's beautiful. All of these controls, you know, you go to celebritycars.com and see uh, close-up photographs of these bezels. It's all clean. All of this brown of, of you know, the, 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 the fake wood that they had back in those days, it's all beautiful. I don't even want to touch it. It's just in fabulous shape. The controls, the stereo system, I mean, come on now. And this is just, I, don't, I shouldn't be touching it. It's just very, very nice. This is a little faded from the blue that's in here. This is supposed to be, this color is supposed to be here, okay? So this color, I'm sorry, this is the color <laughs> that the dashboard should be. So it did fade a little bit from the sun, but it is very, uh, it's fine. As long as you, they don't have holes poking through and all that stuff, nobody's gonna notice it's that stuff but you. Uh, inside the glove box, check this out. We found this the other day. The 1983 owner's manual for the Buick Electra. Pretty darn cool. Kind of, a, you know, original warranty stuff in there. Uh, the CD player that's in there, the Walkman. <laughs> uh, I don't think that comes with the car, but if you're really dying for it, you can have it. Okay, uh, your vanity mirror over here, check it out, still works. You can even turn it up. Man, this thing right here brings back memories. Daniel, holy crap. How many girls back in the 80s I had in passenger seats looking at themselves in this particular mirror, sliding this thing back and forth. Holy crap. What a neat car, folks. All right. Back seat. We've got to stop reminiscing in this thing, but I know a lot of you following along right now are doing exactly so, because I'm not too sure a whole bunch of 25-year-olds are watching this video. I'll tell you that right now. Okay. Look at these seats. Holy crap. It's just beautiful. The seat belts that come out are all in almost like, this car was not done the other day, folks. It was, oh, we just restored it. No, we didn't. This has just been sitting around in a really good spot and keeping itself super nice. The carpets are wonderful. Let's look in the back seat here real quick. I'll pull this one forward. I'll pull this one for you, Daniel. There we go. Look in the back seat. Uh-oh, okay, well, look. Did we actually find something wrong? We did. Okay, see this over here? Over here on this side, can you see that? Got enough light, see this piece? This piece belongs over there on that side. See how honest we are around here at Celebrity Cars? Not everything's perfect. We'll figure out how to get that back on here. But listen, if you're a smoker, we still have the ashtray. <laughs> Don't use the ashtray, that'd be terrible. Stop smoking. Okay, uh, the pouches in the back of the seats are beautiful. Look at this stuff. It's just not, it's just not supposed to exist anymore. Crazy. Carpet back here is wonderful. The sill over here on this side, once again, you know, got some watermarks. Let's see if the seat works. Yep. Look at that. Look at this back here. <laughs> okay. And uh, let's look underneath this door. Over here on this door, folks, it's not a very mild. That discoloration I was telling you about, a little bit of that surface rust, it is much, much lighter. 50% lighter than that side over there. Okay. Um, this paneling. It can't get any better. Oh, inside this particular, uh, th there's no uh, ashtray bucket in this one. Okay, there is over there, I'm pretty sure, but there isn't one on this side. You can just kind of sort of see down inside the door. Um, nothing to be alarmed about, nothing to freak out about. Okay. All right, why is this red cable in here? Well, Give, give us a call, 702-818-1031, and I'll tell you why. Because I think an extra sound system was rigged up for this car. So when you turn on this sound system, it sounds unbelievable in here. And it's because of a, uh, a slight 
tasteful sound upgrade so you can cruise around here and listen to music in style. I have a feeling we're gonna pop open the trunk and see part of the apparatus that runs this. Um, the reason why I've noticed this before is because of an extra cabling system to go to the battery up front. So I think there's a little extra oomph in the sound system in this car, which is pretty darn cool. And I think uh, it's uh, got some today capabilities too, hence this cable laying around. But let's pop the hood before we look in the trunk and see what that looks like. This car's fun, it's fun. I'll never be talking about one of these ever again because they just aren't around. Hood opens great. Here you go. It says down here, 5.0. So this is either a 305 or a 307. It's whopping uh, 185 horsepower or so. Um, here's a brand spanking new battery. And you see some of this uh, fancy cabling down here to, uh, to hook up the uh, sound apparatus to make this thing uh, go boom, boom a little bit. But it's really awesome to see this unmolested um, and, uh, you know, nobody tried to do anything fancy with the motor or do anything dumb with it. Um, it's all very, very original in here. All these plastic moldings for the front bumper, all the bolts attaching it to the body of the car, all of it's very clean. Maybe, you know, maybe a, a, you see a little bit of this surface rust here. Man, it's only like one or two locations of this stuff, folks. It's not, don't get excited. It's not, there's not, we're going to look underneath. You're going to see it all. So we're not, this plastic piece, this housing right here is, look, look at that. I mean, I, I, I used to fight in the 90s to get my mother's 80s vehicle to look half this decent. So this is just crazy. The label's in beautiful shape. It's nuts. There's your air conditioning, there's your power steering, all your creature comforts. Uh, this is uh, in, in fabulous, I have to say, is in excellent shape. Is it new? No, but it, it's, uh, it's not getting ready to fall down. There's that interior uh, engine light that probably needs to be repaired, but it's really cool to see it there. Uh, unfortunately, there's only a certain age bracket that are really going along with this ride for me, or with me, about this particular car, but that's okay. All right, I hope you appreciate it. Close is really nice. Let's look in the trunk. I think I have the keys. And let's see what we find back here. Oh, yes. Okay. Extra cabling. This is the reason why. So, it's in here, nice and secure. See a bunch of JL Audio stuff inside this box. And uh, maybe when we go for a ride around the block, we can turn the radio on and see if this thing lights up and, and make some extra noise. Looks like a full-size spare. Looks like beautiful carpet back here. Um, I'm not sure if this is custom, but it's very form-fitting. It is very, very nice. Um, there's a door, there's a panel over here on the side. I don't know if I'm gonna take, ooh, okay, you know, it's coming off. Oh, I'm just going to let you take a look at that. Go ahead. Look at that. So, yes, you don't no longer need to call us. We no, lean, no longer need to talk about what sound system is in there. Look at that. Wow. Okay, I'm very anxious to hear the sound system in this car now. So that'll be fun. It looks like some Velcro to keep this. It's very nice and tucked up against the wall. Uh, we've noticed, you know, a lot of cars, pe people do stuff back here. They kind of do it half-assed and they go to put it back together. You go to put the wall back up after you're acknowledging stuff and then the wall falls back down because it was put together bad. This is all snug right back up against the wall really nicely. Look inside these door jams. This is another proof in the pudding here. Um, don't, 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 ah, uh, oh, crap. I want to use a, here, I'll do this. Just my finger. See how much that cleans up in there? Again, we didn't get a chance. The top of the here will all shine up chrome-wise. Um, it's important to see this stuff on an 80s vehicle because these cars just like started to rust from day one. So uh, this is just discolored in here. We got to get it cleaned up, shined up. Look underneath all the original stickers for the spare tire. 
Uh, this is just cra crazy. Okay, hopefully I didn't break my microphone. You still got me there? Mm -hmm. Okay, good. All right, I'm gonna close up. Oh, and the trunk light still works too. How cool is that? <laughs> okay. All right. Trunk is closed, good. Maybe you didn't get a chance to see the passenger side real quick. Check out this door jam and all real quick in this one and get a good look in there. And we'll close this thing up, take it outside and make sure it runs and drives as beautiful as it looks. And I'm not sure what portion of the video will follow next, but I'm just covering my butt. So ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to this 1983 Buick Electra Limited. Uh, I, I have a permanent smile on my face because bringing this car outside, driving around the building once, making sure it's all good to go for this video just is a, a, a dream. Um, if you remember these new Buicks from back in the day when they were born, you first got them, you're driving around. Unfortunately, we didn't appreciate how well they drove uh, because now, uh, these days, you have to buy a Rolls Royce or a Bentley in order to feel a ride like this. Um, just the way it is. I drive them all the time, I would know. So, okay. Well, we're in the car. It is just as beautiful as it was inside uh, with the interior color, the bright blue, all the chrome around all the controls. We've already determined that the seats go forward and backwards. I'm going to start it up because it's getting a little hot in here. We're going to turn the air conditioner on, make sure everything works. Check this out. The antenna's going up right now because the radio's on. It's wonderful. I'm gonna turn the air conditioner on because it's getting hot in here. We've already determined that we have nice cold air in here. Now I know the fan is a little noisy. It's not cranked all the way up. Here it is all the way up. Nice cold air, blowing a little dust around. Okay, I'm gonna turn it down just so we can talk and it not be too noisy in here. The radio. Was easy like uh, one, two, three. Optima tax relief. Really. We saw the uh, the components in the back for an upgraded sound system. I don't know where all of the components are. We saw them in the side door. We saw the great big thing. I don't think it's on because oh, uh, you know. The fun. I don't hear that bass amp in the back working yet. There might be a hidden switch. Give us a call. We'll find out these details, uh, and we'll take it from there. But the radio works. It sounds great. We're gonna leave it be at that. The air conditioner's filling up real nice and we're just sitting here in one spot. It's 90 degrees outside. So uh, <clears throat> the, the gauges all look beautiful. It's just awesome. Okay, we're gonna go for a quick drive. I'm gonna stop talking. I'm gonna put my foot on the brake, uh, engage, drive, and off we go. Doing about 30 miles an hour. We're gonna hit the brakes, see what the steering wheel does with the brakes. Three, two, one. <laughs> I don't want to tell you. Brand new 1983. That's, uh, there's no pull to the right. There's no wobbling in my brake pedal. There's no, I don't know. It's new, hear that? Remember that old school turn signal sound? Seems to work just great. All right, my foot's back on the gas. Let's get up to speed a little bit. Beautiful. Old school steering wheel. You know, dad with his ring, driving the family around. Remember that sound? Folks, I, we got crappy roads around here. I'm hitting bumps, I'm banging over stuff. Might as well be in a Rolls or a Bentley.
It is crazy, crazy beautiful, folks. 1983 Buick Electra Limited two-door. The fancy GS Sport wheels, the V8, white, beautiful blue interior, super rock solid. All it needs is gas. The gas light's starting to come on. The gas light still works too because I'm running low on gas and the gas light's flashing at me. So I'm not sure if every single thing works on this car. I'm not gonna, we don't have time to go through all of it, but I'm pretty sure it's darn close to it. Give us a call at Celebrity Cars, 702-818-1031. I'm telling you, if you have an opportunity to watch this video, you're slightly interested, maybe you're one of the first to watch it, you get the Celebrity Cars, you can find their phone number, I would buy this sucker quick, because this is gonna be going very, very fast. Take care of yourself. Celebritycars.com, 702-818-1031. Give us a call. Come visit us in Vegas. We're, we got a loaded showroom of all kinds of fancy cars, Ferraris, muscle cars, old. And this is just a highlight of the year so far. This is just shockingly unbelievable. Come see us soon. Thanks a lot.